Hey everybody, this week I actually got to see two early screenings, both of which turned out to be sequels, oddly enough. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is The Conjuring 2, directed by James Wan and starring Patrick Wilson, Vera Farmiga, and Madison Wolf. Like the first Conjuring movie, this is based on a case that was investigated by Ghost Hunters Ed and Lorraine Warren, and this particular case is the Enfield Poltergeist. The story focuses on the Hodgson family, which is a single mother living with her four children in Enfield, England. And one day, they discover their house appears to be haunted. They're hearing strange noises in the walls, furniture moving by itself, the usual thing. And if that wasn't bad enough, one of the girls appears to have been demonically possessed. She starts speaking in these weird, deep voices that she really should not be able to produce. Kind of reminds me of The Exorcist. Eventually, the Warrens are called in to investigate the case and try to help the family, and they also hope to get some answers for themselves, as Lorraine has been getting these weird demonic visions as well. The movie is based on a true story, and based on are definitely the key words here, because the Enfield haunting was almost certainly a hoax, and in fact, it is one of the very reasons why Ed and Lorraine Warren are widely discredited today. Even many of their fellow ghost hunters think they're full of shit because of this case. But looking at it purely as a work of fiction that was based on true events, it is an entertaining story and makes for a pretty damn good movie. I don't recall if I ever did a video about it, but I did see the first Conjuring movie, really liked it, um, wasn't so crazy about the Annabelle spin-off movie that they did, but, uh, yeah, this was pretty much more of the same good stuff that I remember from the first Conjuring movie. James Wan does a very good job of setting up this scary story and this creepy atmosphere, and it does have a few jump scares here and there, but it doesn't rely on them too heavily, and for the most part, it earns them. There is at least a build-up to them. The demonic entities the Warrens and Hodgson's encounter are incredibly well-designed. Uh, Lorraine Warren is initially haunted by these visions of some demonic nun, which... For a second, I swore was Marilyn Manson. It wasn't, but it looked about like him. If you crossed Marilyn Manson with Baraka from Mortal Kombat and put him in a nun costume, it's about what it would look like. And rather fitting that a woman strong in her Christian faith would be tormented by this blasphemous entity. And the Hodgson family encounters many strange phenomena, including the Crooked Man. Yeah, the Crooked Man is gonna give some people some nightmares. Definitely is. And I'm not exactly sure how they pulled this off. It kind of looked like it was stop motion, but I don't know if it really was stop motion or just CGI designed to look like stop motion, but it was a pretty neat effect. And if the audience in my theater is any indication, this is going to scare the shit out of some people. They were going nuts, which honestly got a little annoying once in a while. I can only hear, oh hell no, so many times before it starts to get old. Even if we were all thinking it. I mean, there are plenty of all hell no moments in this movie. Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga both reprised their roles as Ed and Lorraine Warren. I thought they both did a fantastic job. I was also impressed by Madison Wolf, who plays little Janet Hodgson, the girl that ends up getting possessed. Very believable as both this innocent little girl and this demonic presence, and it's very easy to feel sympathy for this character. She and her family are already in a world of shit when this movie begins. They're dirt poor. Mr. Hodgson has apparently pissed off to God knows where and ain't coming back and is not doing a good job of supporting his family, so fuck him. And on top of that, they got a demon to worry about. That's when you know it's going to be a long day. I like the quick nod at the beginning of the movie to the Amityville Horror, which was also a case the Warrens worked on. And I also really liked how the Hodgson family in this movie were not stupid because so many horror movie protagonists are. But these people are not. Initially, when the haunting starts happening, it's, you know, just the children that experience these weird things, and the mom is naturally skeptical until she suddenly sees a dresser go flying across the room, and then what's the very next thing that happens? They leave! Thank you! <laughs> The house is haunted, kids, grab what you can and get the fuck out! So many times in these haunted house movies, you're always asking yourself, why don't they just leave? 
They do. They grab what they can carry and run out the front door. That got applause in my theater. Like, yay, they're not stupid. Thank you. They're not stupid, stereotypical horror movie victims. They're normal people. They see weird shit going on. Kids, get the fuck out. Now, of course, leaving the house doesn't work since it's not just the house that's haunted. It's also Janet herself and just getting out of the house won't fix that. But at least they made the effort. They tried. And that's important. It's a shame this did not get an October release like it was supposed to. It got pushed back. They so rarely release horror movies in October anymore. I don't know why, but in any case, it's still a very good horror movie, and I recommend giving it a watch. If you like The First Conjuring, you will almost certainly enjoy this one as well. If you did not see The First Conjuring, I recommend doing so, but it's not absolutely necessary to enjoy this one. It's not a direct continuation of any story there, so you're not missing anything. And that's about all I got to say about The Conjuring 2. On to the next movie. Till then. Take care.